My name is Sophia Mapranga. I'm a journalist from Harare in Zimbabwe. I'm 40 years old. I am more working on a digital platform. I found it very important for me to actually attend a training workshop as it gave me new skills and new information. The digital security program gave me an opportunity to travel the world and also meet other journalists. I became a journalist out of the passion for development. I enjoy Enjoy writing about humanitarian stories. I also have a passion for bringing out the voice of, you call them the voiceless, but I call them the voiceful. Journalism is something which is in me, something that I'm passionate about. Our media in Zimbabwe is highly polarized. You have the state and the private media. The state media basically reports positively on the state and government. The private media, on the other hand, also reports mostly negatively about the government and the state. Press freedom in Zimbabwe is a bit of a challenge. The situation has been quite repressive, but the new constitution, which was written in 2013, has provisions that guarantee freedom of the press. There hasn't been that quite a huge shift in terms of press freedom. The current administration is basically inheriting the previous way of doing things. You've had situations where if someone expresses themselves on the social media, they've been taken in police custody, they've been charged in terms of development. Benin is very much more de developed than my country. Everything is just so organized. The like most weird experience was when I went in a shop. I was speaking in English and then the lady who was behind the two started communicating to me in German. Yeah, I was explaining that I don't understand German and, and she just continues speaking to me in German and I'm like, what's going on?